Hey, what's up? Working on pay station roofs today for my buddy's car wash. Been working on this stuff for a few days. Probably have a hard time telling what the hell that is. It's upside down right now. The roof's gonna be a 312 pitch. A little trick right here, you know, if you're setting something like that. I cut me a block of wood that's six inches right there. Six inches in the two foot of that level right there. Puts me, uh, puts me on the angle that I want. And it's kind of neat that thing's sitting there like that because it's just balanced on that pipe. Pretty much nothing you see being used here was designed for that purpose, but it works. And we're good there. Tacked up. Doing a uh, fitness pipe, you know, like where these fits come together with these. You got these different copes on pipe and uh, there's a good video I saw on I think it was weld.com where they used a piece of angle iron to get a cope fit. Uh, I don't do it that way but it was a good idea and once you know uh, what your cope fit is like and you got one cut that fits good, you make a pattern. And I wanted to show these patterns. I've been messaging with one of my buddies up in Pennsylvania. And uh, they've been building some stuff up there. And I wanted to show them and anybody else that wanted to see. Like this is a cope pattern for that pipe. You make this. Uh, this one, this is old. Because uh, I made it a long time ago. And it's made out of... Uh, it's made out of uh, gasket material, like a gasket material for automotive gaskets for an engine or something. Um, this pattern here, uh, this is a 45 cope um, for a fit like this. You know, once you got one fitting good, you make you a pattern you can wrap around that pipe and mark, you know, then you can make another one really easy. And then, you know, sometimes you have just a miter. That's a 22 and a half degree miter. So you can have a, a, a miter pattern like this. Now this pattern and this pattern, they're not made out of gasket material. What they are, these are paper that I've laminated. I got a laminate laminate machine like you can pick one of those up at Walmart. And what's really cool about those uh not just for for patterns, but they're really good for cut lists. Especially if you think you're making a cut list for something you might need again cuz once it's laminated, it's really tough. You can see like right here I wrote that on there on the paper and then laminated it and you can't erase it but if you if you laminate something like this and you want to write on it say it's a cut list and you want to make check marks as you cut stuff see you can get these uh these erase markers like you'd use on a uh, on a whiteboard you know you can you can get one of those and you can write on here uh whatever you're doing, whatever you want to write on there, you know, and you can erase this. So you get rid of it. Maybe if you didn't decide later that you didn't want it there or whatever, you can do that. Um, just some thoughts on, on uh, the patterns I wanted to show you. And um, you know, when you're working this pipe on your jack stands, it's nice to have a pipe wrench around. Sometimes you'll be rotating that pipe. It's a lot easier if you just stick this in on the edge of the pipe. And you can turn it around and control it uh, whenever, you're, whenever you're doing stuff. And it's a good tip too. Uh, have some kind of a stub bucket around 
when you're stick welding, I know a lot of guys, they just throw rods on the floor and they say, well, we'll sweep them up when we're done. Well, you'll have a lot more to sweep up. You know, you got the rod in your stinger. You got to drop it. Why not drop it in the bucket? If you drop it in the bucket, you ain't got to pick it up later. Um, but uh, we'll be revisiting uh, this later, you know, when you can see more what the hell's actually going on. You can't really tell what, what I'm doing too much here as far as the pay station roofs. Uh, but, you know, down the road we'll show you. Uh, this is just construction phase. All right, y'all. We'll holler at you later.